welcome back to another episode of Junket. I believe this is number six. Something like that. And um, yeah, I didn't have an episode last week because I was sick. And I'm sure you're wondering, why do you have a fanny pack on? <laughs> and the answer to that question is because today we are going to be talking about what items to bring with you while you travel that will really help you along your trip, along your journey, or what items that we wish so, we had the first time that's we That's your went. excuse today. You that's, might see the fanny pack come up again. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I really like the fanny pack. <laughs> but, yeah, so um, we'll start it off with the fanny pack. <sighs> Some delicious OJ. So this is a Peak Design fanny pack. It's not just a fanny pack though, it also you can use this strap, you can just hook this strap to it and it can be like a sling bag. And it's really great. Um, I have a couple Peak Design things now. I've been using Peak Design for, I'm trying to use Peak Design for everything. So I have like, I'll talk about this bag later, but I got this Peak Design bag and I got this Peak Design system here for my camera and the Peak Design strap for my camera and for this fanny pack. And um, yeah, so they ha make a ton of really cool camera gear and just travel gear in general but the fanny pack I have it it's because it's a small bag it's really useful for if you're going on like a short day hike or if you're just going out it's more secure than a pocket sometimes or can be yeah um, yeah right now I use like a shoulder sling bag and it's just like big and bulky to carry one of the great things about this is like it folds down like basically flat yeah and then you can just throw it right in your bag it doesn't take up any room and you put it on your belt and you don't have to have anything over your shoulder, so it's pretty nice. And like I said, you can put, you can pull out the sling and throw it over your shoulder too, though. Yeah. And it actually gets pretty big. I don't yeah. know if you can see, but it gets pretty. That's a pretty good size, so you can fold it up to be bigger. You can fold it up to be smaller. My camera clip for my sling bag it can also go here, so it's really a universal bag. It's it, 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 it's pretty awesome. And let's, so let's, uh, next up, let's see what I have in the fanny pack. <laughs> Ooh. So this is something that, uh, everybody really needs. It's TSA locks. I think everybody should get them. Yeah. I use these just anytime, even, even though they're like pretty easily breakable, I just put them like on my bag. This is not my bag, but I have just like, if I have two zippers like this, I'll just throw one on when I'm at the airport. And that way it goes right through and it locks them together and I wouldn't trust it to say leave my bag or something But I do just know that when I'm walking around nobody's gonna pickpocket me or something because they can't unzip it easily So I just do it for things like that. And then I also put it on my check bag So I had it like on straps like this where somebody could have easily cut the straps But honestly, it's not that hard to cut those I'm sure But the thing is it's just like a deterrent Mm -hmm. So, like, if you really want to get in, you're going to get in pretty much no matter what. You know, you're going to cut the bag or something. But it's a pretty, I think it's a pretty good deterrent for somebody who's just going to try to unzip it and take something out. And, yeah, and these do have to be the TSA travel locks, though, because mm -hmm. the TSA has to be able to open them up and go through your bag. Your lock. Otherwise, they'll cut your lock, and then <clears throat> you won't have locks anymore. So, yeah. yeah, make sure you get the TSA locks. I picked these up on Amazon, and they were on sale. I think I got them for, like, $7 for the pack of two. It's pretty good because at Walmart they're like seven dollars for one or something like that. So definitely check out Amazon for that. Yeah, so that's just something that you can have. And then next up, yeah. This so one this is about. also Sam's. I don't have mine with me. You just push oh, the yeah. button. Jeez, these are like all complicated now. What button? Oh, this button. Yeah, unlock. Oh, it's unlocked and then. Yeah, unlock it and then. All right. All right. <laughs> so you definitely need to know how to open it when you get one of these. <laughs> But I always just throw one of these in my check bag because obviously you can't carry it on your carry-on, but they're just great to have. Like, I take it in my pocket whenever I'm going out at night. So, like, if I'm going out at night to do some sunset photography or in the morning to do some sunrise photography, I always have this in my pocket, especially in a place where I don't really, like, I've just got there and I don't know what's going on. Just in case you need to shank some. <laughs> yeah, just in case. <laughs> I mean, I've been in situations where I've, it's like... I'm sure I'm fine, but like it's pretty sketchy and I'll just have this in my hand in my pocket like ready to go <laughs> just in case you never know. Now you do want to like make sure you're somebody who is not going to hurt themselves because I think especially for females, 
there's statistics that like you're way more likely to hurt yourself than the other person who's attacking you. I think that's for like all weapons though. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so just like be sure you kind of know what you're doing, but I feel way safer with this. Yeah, and it also can be used for other things like cutting things. It doesn't have to be used for stabbing people. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing to have. It's a great thing to have in general. All right, I'm going to do another one of my things. And this is just something I wanted to show you guys because it's kind of cool. This is a moment. I have a moment case on this phone. I actually had like a $100 Google credit when I got this phone. So um, I got the case with the $100 credit. I think all together it was like 130 though. I think I paid a little bit extra. But with the case, I got this moment lens. And this is for anybody who's not like a serious photographer but wants to take good pictures while they're out. These phones have great pictures nowadays anyway, but if you throw like an 18 millimeter lens, this is a wide angle 18 millimeter, so it'll make your lens have a wider area of view. No, um, you just freaked out. Yeah, no, you just freaked out. <laughs> but, um, so this will be wider, so say I'm just taking a picture of Ricky, instead of just seeing him, I'll be able to see maybe the light and a little bit more background. Or traveling like in Kuala Lumpur, there's the two twin towers, so there's actually guys sitting there selling these wide angle lenses to people who aren't able to capture both twin towers mm -hmm. top to bottom in a p single picture. Okay. So they'll just be sitting there, so that's good to have for things like that. And these moment lenses, they're really, really good quality. Like this is this is yeah, heavy. It's, really heavy. It's, it's substantial. Um, like it does not make your photo worse quality. Like it doesn't, it's not gonna be like a cheap lens like you might get from somebody on the right. street. It's gonna be a good lens. They also sell a telephoto one that fits the same way on the case. It just kind of like uh, clicks on like that. It just screws on and boom, it's just on the case. It's great, especially like I said, if you're not a giant photographer, you don't have a giant camera with you, and you but you do wanna take like some good pictures while you're out. It's definitely something to think about getting before you go travel. But that's not really so much a hack, but just something that you might wanna have with you. Yeah. Let's see, I got a bunch of stuff here. So I'm gonna start with this funny one first because everybody laughs at me when I carry this thing. Um, travelers always like, if they come to my room or whatever, they're like, oh my gosh, do you bring that around with you? And yes, I do. Because I don't think I'm gonna bring it this time. So we got a little bit of different one this time, but even though this is big and bulky, it does fit in my bag fine. I was never burdened by it and I was always happy I had this. So basically it's just a power squid. So it plugs in the wall here and it's got about, it's a three foot cord. Um, so all I need is one of these little power adapters. So this one's for Malaysia and Europe and this one's for like Indonesia. And so <clears throat> I can just plug one of these on here and I don't need to buy a bunch for all my stuff. And then it's got like five of these American power cords on the bottom so I can just plug into these so this is not only an extension cord But also allows me to plug five things into one and it's a surge protector So it's a really really nice thing to have I like every time I break it out at a hotel I'm so happy that I have it So it's great great little hack and this is what we're using this time. This is what we're yeah. gonna try to use um, This is like a power cube It's got two USB ports and then four outlets one on each side and then we're gonna get a five we're gonna get a five foot extension cord for it yeah and so it's gonna be kind of the similar thing and you can still just put one little plug adapter on it and it'll work and that way you can plug all your american plugs into the sides and only need one adapter yeah same kind of concept uh this this seemed to pack down a little bit smaller so that's why we're trying this out but um yeah, hopefully this works well, and it's got the two USB ports, which is... This is the first time I'm seeing it. It looks a lot bigger in real life. It's, a, it's much bigger in real life. <laughs> it looked really small in the picture. We were wondering tiny. if like the prongs would touch each other and stuff, but yeah. now it's definitely more substantial than it looked. Yeah, it's definitely more substantial, <laughs> but... Yeah, it's like... But it's still way, way smaller than this guy, so... Yeah, it's so... A, a big just benefit. to show you, like, yeah, it's still a much... Much less, and then we'll just have a five foot extension cable that we can fold up nicely. And that's the problem with extension cables that are built into things, yeah. is you can't really fold them up. This one does actually work kind of well because it's like 
Tubular anyway. Tubular. <laughs> 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 Alright. You got a new one or are you? Uh, one? you go for another one. Alright, so I've got a couple little things here. Just these are just always the good things to carry as a photographer. Like I bring this little thing, this little rocket blaster, that way if I get dirt in my lens or whatever, I can blow it out without spitting all over it. And then these little uh, lens wipes. But uh, also, on the line of power, I bring a lot of these little block thingies. Not a ton, but you know, a couple. Because you always going to have USBs to plug in. And this is a fast charger. This time we are going to go for that USB docking station, though. Right, That yeah. plugs in to one outlet and has True. like so four or five I'm probably only going to bring like maybe one of these for airports or something. Mm -hmm. And then we'll have the docking station. Yeah. And then also, of course, your power cords. I like these braided ones that are like longer cords because you're always far away from an outlet, and especially in foreign hotels rooms, even in American hotel rooms. And then these little ties. So I just bought these little ties, and they're awesome for tying these little cords and whatever you might need together. And you just buy like a pack of 10 of them for like 10 bucks or something like that, and they're great to have. So that's another little one. Alright, and then uh, I'm going to go ahead and do this one. So this is actually a, a towel that a company sent me out to like review. And I haven't had the chance to review it yet, but I will say we know that microfiber towels are awesome. And I probably, th this, this came with three and I'm only going to bring the biggest one probably. But these microfiber towels, they pack down small, um, they dry really quickly so you can just so you can dry them in a short period of time and put them back in your bag if you're only, say, spending a day at the place you're at or something like that. So that's kind of the point of them. So I will be bringing this towel along, and this is from, um, let's see, Country, Country Bound. Yeah, they sent it out to me for free, so that was really cool of them. So check them out. Um, I'll let you guys know when I before I go how they are, but yeah. Pretty cool. Definitely bring a microfiber towel with you if you're traveling because it's way, way, way smaller than like a traditional towel would be. Yeah, that's good to have. A <clears throat> um, couple other things I got. One, I just got this a new phone, so I got this running band, and this has been awesome. And I plan on continuing to run while I'm in while I'm overseas. And you don't want your phone dangling in your pocket. And I also don't like holding it because I'm scared I'm going to throw it or something. So I just got this little armband here and it just Velcros right around my arm up here. Or, I mean, I guess you could put it wherever. You can put it on your belt or something. But this is a great little thing to have. So just, I can track my run. I can listen to music and everything while I'm on the run and have everything with me. It also has like a little pouch for money and a card so I could do that and not have to bring my wallet. And also a little key pouch, which is nice. So yeah. You have anything else? Um, my bag. So I've already mentioned uh, my bag a little bit. Um, actually, I'm gonna pull out this one too because these are both my bags. So, ugh. so these two bags are my bags. I hopefully won't need this one. So I'm gonna bring two bags with me, maybe, but hopefully I can only pack down to one. And it will be this one if I can, but otherwise I'll bring this one as my checked bag. But um, just a bag's really important. It's, it's important to know what you need in a bag. And the sad thing is you'll never know what you need in a bag until you go do things with your bag. So you can buy a bag beforehand and then test it out by like hiking or something like that if you like. But at the end of the day, you just really won't know what you need in a bag until you're doing exactly what you're trying to do with that bag, with that bag, yeah. if that makes sense. So like, if you're traveling overseas, you're gonna need a different bag than if you're traveling, than if you're hiking in the mountains here. But this is the best bag I found for like just all around everything, like for day hikes, for, for traveling overseas, for everything. This is a um, Peak Design bag. I seriously love this company. I've, I've only known about them for a short period of time, but I've bought like literally everything they have because yeah. it's they're so awesome. And I'm going to be buying a bunch of it after seeing the ones that he got. They're so 
good, so well made. And everything and well thought out. And yeah. everything works with each other. Yeah. Like I was saying, this strap, it works for not only my camera, but also my bag. And it's also just a good strap. Um, and these bags, they're waterproof. They can, they can get bigger. They can go smaller if you're doing a day hike, if you're doing, so like, I might be able to make this my only bag because it can get this big, which is much bigger than it looks when it's originally at its lowest setting down here. But um, yeah, so I think this bag is gonna be exactly what I need personally. But like I said, you'll never know until you actually do the thing with it. So this looks like the perfect bag for me, but that doesn't mean it's gonna be the perfect bag for somebody else. Um, Ricky's so this also. This is a photographer's bag, so if you're not a photographer, it might not be the bag for you. But this is a photographer's bag, but I think it's perfectly. Yeah, you can take out the photography thing, the camera things, or you could leave it, it in. A, yeah. And use it as spacers. I think this is just an all-around great bag. It is, yeah. And um, I, even if I wasn't a photographer, I would seriously consider this bag because it's comfortable. It's somewhat stylish. It's not hideous like a lot of bags <laughs> are. Um, like it looks good. It's a yeah. good looking backpack. It makes me feel good to have it on my back. You know, <laughs> yeah. it carries a large laptop, a fifth, I think a 16, 16 inch, inch yeah. laptop and it's got a ton of space here. Everything's designed super well. It all like kind of, if one compartment's using more than another compartment, it borrows space from the other compartment. It's just a great bag. So yeah, but, um, that bag's pretty awesome. This Manfredo, Manfredo bag is also awesome. It's just awesome for for other things. Um, not sure what those things are now. <laughs> I didn't really like this bag. It ever. also has the separators for photography, so you can put your camera in there and mm -hmm. everything, and have it in different slots and have quick access. So it, it is a nice bag for like a day hike or something. Yeah, like it's that. got a day pack. Or even side. a little bit longer. Yeah, it's got a day pack and like a top piece that's a day pack, and then the camera stuff goes in the bottom. It's got a ton of pockets stuff like that but like I said it's also a camera bag if I use it as my checked bag I will probably be taking all the dividers out of it and then but like I honestly don't know how I'll fill that whole bag so I'm just really hoping I can pack down to one backpack because if I have to go to that I feel like I won't fill it up yeah or I guess I will but I'll have to I'll do it on purpose because right, I don't, yeah. I'm like I have all this space so there's no point in not using it I think that was the last thing I have all right, I've got a few more things. Uh, one here, these kind of go together. This is a rain cover for my backpack, but this backpack that he has is waterproof, so that's really nice. But if your backpack is not, either get the rain fly or it might come with the rain fly, and you can just put this right over your bag, and that way you're not gonna get rained on. And it's not gonna ruin all your stuff if it rains. Definitely important if you're carrying electronics, Super laptops, important. iPads, phones. Or just your clothes. You don't want to like, yeah. show up at your hotel. and I've had that happen before. All my clothes are wet. Mm -hmm. It sucks. And then, so on the same lines, a rain jacket. So this one, it's not going to keep you super warm or anything, but it will keep the rain off. And I actually do use this as a coat in the few instances where I get cold. Oh, I wait, just... Wait, wait. Uh, You don't need a sign, do you? He's leaving. He's leaving. He's leaving, Sam. Okay, didn't need a sign. <laughs> Sorry. So yeah, in the few instances where I've um, been cold, like when I went to Mount Bromo in Indonesia, it's really high altitude. So it gets really cold up there. I actually still wore shorts. I still wore short sleeves. What I did, I did wear shoes. I didn't wear my flip flops. But what I did was I doubled up my socks and I tripled my t-shirts and then wore this. And I was actually perfectly fine. So if you got three t-shirts and you got a rain jacket and you're going to someplace warm, obviously don't do this if you're going to Iceland or Antarctica <laughs> or New Zealand. But like if you're going to Southeast Asia, you're going to be fine with just a rain jacket. And even this, I hardly ever wear it because it's too hot. So that's that. You got anything else? You done? I do not. And then I've got, so I carry this little tripod. I do carry a big tripod, but I also like to carry this little one. And that just allows me, if I know there's going to be a wall or something I can set up on, I don't have to carry my big, bulky, heavy tripod with me. So that's really nice. 
or I'll just carry it around town so that just in case I want to get a shot that I need a tripod for, I can just set this up right there. And then this is my monopod, and the only reason I'm showing this is because I spent a little bit extra money and got the carbon fiber. So this is all carbon fiber, so it's really st strong. This thing can hold like 80 pounds or even more. But it's also really lightweight, and it folds up to essentially nothing. So it's like a f less than a foot and a half in length. So I can stick it right in my backpack or my bag, whatever, and it doesn't take up any room. So that's really nice. Um, I always carry a journal. I like to journal and also just write down whatever I might need to about where I'm going to go or things that I want to see in the next place or whatever. So I always carry that. And one we've talked about before is a Kindle. Yeah. So this saves me tons and tons and tons of room in my bag. I love to read. I read a lot. So I'm going through books and this saves me money as well because I don't have to buy them. I don't have to look for good English books overseas. I can just go on Amazon, buy what I want, connect this thing to Wi-Fi, and bam, I'm good. So this is amazing if you like to read. And going back to the tripods, um, I don't have it yet, but I'm about to buy it. It's, I'm buying a Photo travel tripod. It's like it's just their standard travel tripod. Uh, it's pretty pricey. I think it's $300. But it is carbon fiber, it turns into a monopod, and that it's a tripod that turns into a monopod. Yeah. So it's a tripod and monopod in one. It's very lightweight and all those things. So like uh, that's what I'm getting for my for that same thing. And then I do also have a small um, tripod, but I'm using it right here. And that is a Manfrotto tripod. It's only like 25 bucks. It's super sturdy. And uh, I think I like it a little bit more than the one he has. They, they're good for different things, though, if they have the elevating. Um, one of the things I like about mine is just that you can screw, like, a standard ball head on there a little bit better. Mm -hmm. And it's a little bit flatter. So it's a little bit better maybe for, like, landscape photography or something like that. But if you're just, like, shooting video or something real quick, then yours is probably better. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I also got it as kind of a selfie stick, and right. it works with a cell phone. So if you are a cell phone photographer, videographer, and you're going to be taking pictures with your cell phone, it comes with a cell phone mount. Oh, that's awesome. And it just, and actually, uh, it's, it's in here, I think, but it's just a little pull-up clip cell phone mount, and it works really well for that. So, and you can also use it as a selfie stick or um, whatever you want to do, so... I think that's a pretty awesome investment for pretty much any person yeah. if, they're, if they're traveling. And the last thing I have, I actually don't have it with me, but get a passport case because I just had to renew this, not even because it's going to expire. It doesn't expire for another year, but I had to renew it because it stopped scanning in the little machines and customs. And so I always had to flag down a person, go through the line or get them to type in different stuff. And it's just a huge pain. So that was like the last two months of my travel. I kept having to do that and it's super obnoxious. So I said, I'm just going to get a new passport and throw it in a case right away. So that doesn't happen. Just being in your bag and getting bent up and everything. It just stops scanning. And I've heard this from a lot of different travelers. So do yourself a favor and just invest in like the 10 to $15 nice case for it. All right. Well, I think that's it. Do you have anything else? That's all I got. Awesome. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed all our little travel tips. These things are, like, actually super necessary and, like, super helpful to have. So um, I definitely recommend pretty much everything except for the photography stuff if you're not a photographer at all. But one but, thing I do want to say, just when you're choosing what to bring, don't bring things because you're like, oh, every once in a while I do need this. Mm -hmm. Bring things like that you only use like all the time pretty much or like a lot of times. If you're just going to use it like once every six months, you'll be able to figure out something to do in its place. Like that's at least for me, I like to keep my bag light. I don't like having this huge hefty bag and all this stuff I got to dig through. If you don't use it all the time, then don't bring it. It's not worth it. Yeah, I agree. So yeah, I think that's it though. Is that that's all? it. All right, so, um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. This was Junket episode number six, which is pretty cool. Um, like I said, I was sick last week, so I didn't put out a video, but I am going to keep trying to put these out weekly, and I'm going to up my video count. 
right now we're trying to enter a competition for a video competition for an airline so uh, I'm put, we're putting all of our effort into that but after that I'm gonna really start upping my videos doing more vlog type videos and more like travel videos that I have in mind kind of like similar to the one we're shooting right now so um so yeah, stay tuned for all of that guys. Subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up. It really helps us. I've been posting some videos just Ricky's every once in a while. So videos. go, my channel will be linked somewhere around here. Yeah, I'll post it at the end of the- Subscribe to that. I'll post this link at the end of this video and um, all his other links, Instagram, my Instagram, everything down in the description below. And all of these things that we've been talking about, I will link them all in the description below. There will be affiliate links, so it greatly helps us out if you click on the link and make your purchase through there. It doesn't matter what the purchase is. If you click on the link, it helps us out. We get a small percentage at no cost to you, which is just excellent. Patreon's linked up above. Go ahead and give me some money. And until next time, guys, see you later. Peace.